morning. Join me on my veranda. I'm looking out. I'm taking some deep breaths this morning. I've been doing some thinking <laughs> and I've decided that I want to show up more authentically here. Not that I haven't been true and honest. I mean, really, you've seen me at 1am looking as raw and honest as you can get. But it's about how I structure, how I show up here. So I've been doing readathons or I do weekly vlogs and that's really not how I run my life. I run my life in line with the natural flow of my cycle. As a woman, as with every woman, men out there, every woman you walk past has a natural rhythm and a natural flow in their cycle every 28 days or so. And we were taught from a very young age that you had to push through, that you had to maintain energy and you had to uh, maintain perspective and how you held yourself the same way throughout the whole time. But what I know to be true is that you there's ebbs and flows, there's peaks and troughs, and there are four different phases to a cycle. So in each of those four different phases, your body changes, your head changes, how you see the world changes, your energy changes. And so rather than showing up for you just in a weekly vlog that might cross over two different phases of my cycle, I've just decided to do vlogs that are for each phase of my cycle because my energy is different in those times, my reading is different, yeah. And that to me is an authentic way to show up. I do it in my life. I do it when I work. I do it with my family. I do it with my friends. Um, so I just thought I'd bring that understanding to, to YouTube. So here we are. These vlogs are still going to be very much about what I do in a day and how I live um, and the books I'm reading. Um, but just the way that they are structured will be around my cycle and my flow rather than around you know what's going on out there with readathons and um yeah weeks <laughs> this might seem really strange but trust me i've been doing it for years now in my personal life so it works <sighs> so today is day one of my cycle i started my bleed and I call this my winter phase. This is as you would expect. When you hear the word winter, it's about warm drinks and coziness, even though we're in summer here in Australia. But it's about, you know, being under, under the dunas and resting and yeah, really honoring your body. My family really honors this time for me. So I sleep in the cottage um, at the start of my winter. And maybe at the start of my winter, rather only two days where I'm not forced to play Pokemon so there's always a win there um, but the boys understand and I've structured my work so that I get this time to just sit and be of course there are things that have to be done um, oh god I have a uni school uniform appointment today Oof. life still goes on but I rest and I take it slow and I honour my body and I don't push through so I'm going to spend the morning out here and then go back to bed because I had a rough night. I am drinking, I need to get more tea. So I'm drinking a mixture of peppermint and chamomile tea this morning. So there you go. And I'm going to sit and read Unsettled Ground by Claire Fuller. I'm there. I'm into this story so much. Um... Is it gothic? I don't know. Like it's really dark and ominous and we're in the countryside of, well, it's not ominous. It's just dark. It just, it, I just picture every scene in the book. Is it ving, vignette, 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 you know, with the, like the, the dark edges to the picture. So this is about, I don't even know their names. They're twins. They're in their fifties. They've lived with their mum all their life in a rented cottage on a farm in the countryside somewhere in the UK I'm assuming but I've probably been told but I've forgotten 
and their mum dies in the first chapter and even though they've lived with her for 50 years it's becoming very clear that they didn't really know all that was going on in her life so it's kind of the uncovering of that the um connection between the two siblings is really cool and interesting and dependent so yeah i'm really enjoying the story i'm sucked in the writing is very capturing i think this is my first claire fuller book anyway I had a bit of a scare because it said a modern day Daphne du Maurier on the front cover. I haven't gotten along with poor old Daphne, so I was worried about that. But I think it's just kind of like the darkness of the, the setting and the scenes and the story. I think that's what they're referring to. Thanks for listening to that intro and being open to a different way of doing things around here. It's still the same old stuff. <laughs> So I'm going to sit out here and watch the beautiful morning bird show that happens out here on the plains in all of the little trees. I wish I had an amazing camera so you could see the gorgeous birds that are sitting over there. Lots of parrots, lots of different colours um, flying around, lots of noise. They're saying good morning to each other and to me. That's how I like to think of it. Read, drink my tea. I'll catch up with you later on. to you as a rested woman on the veranda planning to read all day. My day has not gone to plan. <laughs> so I needed to come and ground myself under our jacaranda tree. The little one setting himself up a slip and slide space. So I thought I'll sit out here with him. Not do any slip and sliding. <laughs> it's such a beautiful day. Anyway, it's just, you know, like I started off so calmly and then the day just directions but I'm trying to flow with it and I'm trying to keep um, keep slow in all of those spaces yeah. hang on to that slowness that I have this morning anyway slip and slide time I love it babe I was just gonna slide <laughs> Back in the car again, it seems to be a regular occurrence that I take my husband to the pub on a Friday afternoon, but hey, more power to him. But you can see that in the background. <laughs> I need salt. I just need to sit with salt and I live in a town that has the best hot chips I've ever eaten in my life. And it's only here. It's called Super Rooster and lots of people argue with me about this, but I know my hot chips. It's Friday afternoon, so I'm just going to eat, you know, get a couple of chips share them with the kids it's really for the kids I'll just eat a few on the way home I've had a shit day I haven't had a shit day I've had a busy day I'm exhausted I was just doing dinner stuff I'm solo parenting for the night Ugh. but I walked out and saw the sunset and it just made me come back to myself rather than be in my head with all the crankiness that I was going on I came to get my book and my water bottle from the granny flat. I'm gonna go back in and be a parent. <laughs> Hopefully get some reading in, but God, that sunset's amazing. You know what? I'm gonna honor myself and read out here with the sunset. I'm gonna start off where I began. I just have to sort them out and then I'm gonna do it, damn it. <laughs> I'm not going back inside. 
That's so beautiful. Okay. All right, let me sort them out. I'm going to sign off for the night and we'll talk tomorrow. I'm exhausted. I'm waiting for my husband to get home so I can just go straight in there and go to sleep. And that would be amazing. But yeah, my day of reading didn't happen. It's not going to happen tomorrow. I guess it's just about trying to get out of my mind when I go into these states of the day did not go to plan, get out of the victimhood of like, why couldn't I had the space to honor my body don't feel supported all those sorts of things and just kind of release all of that crap and just understand that it it just wasn't the day for it today and that I made choices in that too damn it here comes a kid I'm gonna sign off I'll see you in the morning talk to you yesterday. I didn't take any footage but I hosted a women's circle here last night which was really nice. We went outside with the fire pit and there were storms just swirling around us. We had a huge storm last night. So it was a really powerful um, yeah, space to be in but I felt um, just some disconnection and inability to kind of be really raw in the space which is unlike me. So I just pulled some cards to try and connect with that and yeah, I think I worked it out. So that's good. I've got to, I'm just going to do some journaling now just to hash it out and then I can, yeah, move on from that. Today is Sunday. My sister-in-law is here. Um, I think they're heading home today. Yesterday was manic. It was manic and I didn't finish off the grocery shop. I had people everywhere coming to measure stuff for the renovations and yeah it was just a nuts oak kind of day um but yeah today we'll i need to finish off the tusks from yesterday oh now all of a sudden i just got really tired thinking about having to grocery shop but i want to flow in and out of some creative thinking and move forward on some work and things like that so yeah we'll just see how the day pans out I'm, yeah, I'm feeling really good in my body, so that feels nice. A little more clearer every day. I've been up there for a bit of the day. I had a two-hour nap. It was delicious. Um, but now I'm doing something fun, so I wanted to show it to you. I'm, like, in this zone where I've got the afternoon to myself, and that feels really nice. Um, I've kept this diary that's really boring, and every time I open it up, uh, like I want to use a, a diary to help me yeah just stick to goals and do all that sort of stuff stick to my vision um, but it's really masculine and I've been working a lot on kind of approaching my days with feminine flow but putting yeah I don't know there's a lot to say about that I don't yeah it's hard to say okay shall we talk about it let's talk about it um, I'll put you down because hang on okay so for me um i am the ultra planner um that doesn't follow through and i never really worked out why i used to get really down on myself really upset with myself and it became kind of oh yeah natalie doesn't follow through it became a a, a way that people described me um and i've just 
worked with a coach and identified that I am very much in my feminine, which is really creative and flowy. And a long time I've been told that that's been unproductive or I've told myself that's been unproductive from whatever, you know, source that's from. So this coach showed me that a lot can be achieved by being in flow as long as you have kind of containers and boundaries around it. So you, the flow is, is great, but you can't go off and follow something shiny on a path over here. It's kind of about um, making sure that you're showing up in your vision and making choices within that flow to maintain that vision and build on that vision. So if let's, what's an example? So let's say I'm working, um, I'm taking care of my responsibilities, but the kids want to play and, you know, there is room for me to move in that. I want to show up as a mum who is present with them. So that flow and that move to them just for that short time is not seen as unproductive. Whereas before I would deny being with my children because I needed to be productive and get stuff done. And what that does is it makes me more present in, in the moment. I have a lot going on at the moment in my business world. I'm starting this new business, um, which is nearly there and, and is requiring a lot. But because I'm starting a new business, I'm also working in old stuff to pay the bills. So I've got to work out ways to balance that. And yeah, I need kind of an understanding of what the vision is and what are the projects within that vision to, you know, see it build and see it come to life and then work on those things, but build that container for my flow. And this is the kind of container for my flow. I don't know if that made any sense at all. But because it's so masculine and crappy, I wanted to kind of work on it being a little more exciting to open up <laughs> and allow a little more flow. So I'm going to have a little play with bits of you know, different color card and um, yeah, a trusty pink hole punch and just see what I can come up with. I've written down, I think it's five, um, ways to build on this vision of who I want to be as a woman um, and what I want my days to look like and how I want to yeah be in this world um, so yeah I want to kind of break it down and, and work on integrating all of that stuff into my daily life it's kind of my version of new year's resolutions but I don't like that I work in the cycles so I'm always renewing but I do like the idea of having container to kind of transition me into working in flow because I can get a little distracted <laughs> and that's okay as long as you're distracted in a way that you're making a choice to show up in your vision. Blah, 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 blah. It goes on and on. Okay, I'm going to have a play now. I'll show you what I've got at the end of it all. my goals on these bits of card so each card has a goal and then I've got the projects from the different goals this is goal one goal two etc that I want to complete this cycle and other to do's and then I've got my list of what I want to complete for this part of my cycle so this my winter which was from until which is until Thursday I kept these pages in because I mean it's a waste really so yeah I just changed the dates but I don't know it's a start I love that I can see that you know with the cycle projects that I want to do that they're under the goals and that it kind of refers back to these ones so I know that I'm moving ahead in where I want to be and what I want to do. And yeah, that feels really nice. 
just being really clear, I'm not, you know, defining success in monetary values or anything. Where I want to be and what I want to do is about who I am as a woman. Like, how do I want to live in my life? How do I want to be as a woman? How do I want to feel every day? What things make me happy that I want to engage with? How do I want to dress? What do I want to eat? You know, all of the little things. And it's kind of like showing up every day, working, not towards that because there's no end goal, but just making choices that support that vision rather than making choices that, you know, don't. (laughs) Yeah. But because I've got so much going on, I just felt I needed the extra support of something physical. So I knew that that was happening. I'm trying to stay in flow in this process as much as possible. My go-to is to plan because that's how I feel productive um, if I have a plan. But I want to, instead of being like, Normally, right now, I would plan out every day for the whole cycle ahead, what I want to do on every day. And I don't know how I'm going to feel on those days or where I want to flow to. So I've got the master lists in a way, and then I can choose from those lists each day, depending on where my energy is. And that feels really nice. That's the plan. This will change about 5 million times, I would say. So it's day three, I'm moving back into the house to sleep. I sleep for day one and day two of my cycle and even the last day of my last cycle in the cottage because I just like having space, but I want to be in the house now. So I might go in there and change the sheets and yeah, prepare that space and then yeah, flow from there. Anyway, that's my Sunday. (laughs) I'm going to sign off and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning from my deck. Uh, Monday morning, I've been up bright and early at five o'clock. I set my plan up for the day. The energy I'm going to bring today is a nurturing energy. Um, I want to nurture a friend. I want to nurture my family with food and finish off my groceries and do some cooking. And I need to nurture my responsibilities and get them done, but in a kind of giving way yeah so that's that's what I'm using today (laughs) um I just did yoga with Fitz I've been working a morning got that out of the way did yoga with Fitz I would have filmed it but he was naked because in summer Fitz he never wears clothes at home that's his thing we call it naked baby so you know we'll just keep that off the internet (laughs) um and yeah now I'm sitting out here I'm gonna drink a lot of water and um, finish this book. I had a huge reading binge last night after I spoke to you. I went back into the house, made my bed, set everything up back in there and um, just read. And because I had such a big nap yesterday, I was up late reading. So I've got maybe 20 pages, if that left to go. And then, oh, not even, my gosh, I must have fallen asleep right at the end. Um, I'll just finish it off and then I'll let you know what I think. It's all very uh, different to common thought, I think. Eek. Okay, give me two secs. Uh-uh. This is okay. <laughs> Maybe these gothic. No, oh, I like them. I'm drawn to that kind of dark family saga mystery kind of thing going on. Especially in a countryside, but this was frustrating for me I was in bed last night reading it going oh my god you know like what frustrates me about this book is that the characters don't say things and don't do things and it's hinted in the book but then the character doesn't follow through and then you know then the plot unfolds and I find that a really frustrating way to be this you know it this book's about I don't know. Have I told you anything about this book? I don't really know. Shit goes down. Mysteries unfold, but the mysteries are, you know, what they are. So it's not this big (gasps) moment. Um, And even the thing that is the uh, moment at the end is predictable because it's, you know, about a mother just wanting to keep her children with her. 
at the start I felt this tension but then when I got frustrated with the characters being so incompetent and I get that they're naive and they you know that's how they were brought up and I all of that sort of stuff but it was to the point of annoying where it would be hinted or oh, she should really do this she thought that she should really do this but she decided not to when like just do it you know like come on so she thought she should tell him but she didn't and she never tells anybody anything and I don't know just annoying it wasn't all terrible the scene setting was amazing I was very much in this village I was very much with these people it was all very well written in that I was able to visualize the scene the houses the gardens where they were um and what they looked like how they behaved in the world how they walked all of that stuff was very well done um and I was yeah completely aware of where this was set and where I was being led through. I was just frustrated with the 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 storyline and, and the plot and this big mystery that wasn't really a mystery and, you know, all of these ominous things. Yeah, kind of the setting was well done, but the storyline wasn't there to back it up for me. So it'll be a three and a half star book for me. That's all. I'm gonna go in now and update my chart. Um, this was on Eric Carl Anderson's best of list for the year and many others. So, um, but yeah, it didn't quite work for me and that's okay. Okay. Let's go stick up some stars on my chart. I'll need a new book then. The way that I determine the books that I read in what order is the way that they have to go back to the library. So I'll go and see what needs to be returned the soonest and what has reserves on it and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, let's do the chart. One thing at a time. There we go. So I'm still the most compatible with Simon after having read one book from each of these guys. But let's look up what my next read will be, depending on what happens, what needs to go back to the library. Okay, so much fun. Hi. Hi. This is my day. This is the epitome of how my day's been. Running, running, running. I forgot about the roast pork in the oven. Oh. This crackle! I have nailed it! My son is going to be so happy with me. God, that crackle's amazing. Um, okay, I need to set alarms because I am in the cottage working and nobody else is home. So I just want to not let that burn. I suppose I should put on some rest vegetables. Right now I'm trying to get in creative mode and it's not really working. I've had a really great day. I started early. Oh, you saw me. Since you've saw me, seen me, we've, I went for coffee with a friend, which was beautiful. I went, a friend came over, which was great, just for a little bit. The boys have gone out to virtual golf. Who knew? Um, and yeah, and now here I am. I've been working, 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 but I'm just trying to do some creative stuff and yeah, no nap has been had. So my creative energy is low. So yeah, I've had a great day. I'm just at the end of it. I haven't picked another book. I haven't started another book. So that's where we left each other this morning, didn't we? Do you want to see the epitome of Australian summer? It's really gross. Can you see them? Just a million flies on a screen door. Can you see them all? I don't know. They can smell the pork roast inside, you see. So, um, the trick for me is to be able to get in the door while letting in minimal flies. So you have to scooch in. I think I did it. I think I did good. Okay, I'm in. I'm going to have a shower. Cold shower was good. 
This is the next book I've picked, Unsheltered by Claire Maletta. This is on Amy from Polly Reader on Instagram. It was on her best of list. So Amy's on three and a half stars right now. Her first date was a three and a half star date. I can't remember, even remember what I read. Oh, The Performance by Claire Thomas. But this one is, it's got a gun on the spine. So thrillerish, pacey, something about a woman looking for her daughter. And that's all I really know. Australian author? Yeah. She's from Western Australia. It's her first novel. Amazing. So I'm going to lie here while there are still no children home. And yeah, wish me luck at not going to sleep. We're in trouble. Done the first chapter. It's like dystopian maybe. It's like everything has been lost due to weather. And now his two parents and their baby need to walk somewhere. There's walls around, there's east blocks, there's, yeah, different, yeah, lots of words flying around that set off alarm bells for me because I don't normally read these type of novels. Yeah, I, I generally steer very clear of them. Um, so I hope, I know that this is going to bring down our date rating, Amy, but going to continue on if it's like I know that I'm not going to enjoy it it's just not for me it's just not my type of book but you never know just letting you know the alarm bells are going off <laughs> and just like that it's the end of the day I'm still here I um, finished off that creative little calendar project that I wanted to to do and I feel yeah like I've achieved something I've ticked it off on my little winter list in my diary so that felt really nice um and yeah I'm I'm glad I persisted but it's like quarter past eight now I've got my fairy lights on in here how nice is it yeah so I'm gonna go in and give that book just a little bit more of a try this is what I think because I'm doing this dating thing, right? And this book is was recommended by Amy at Polly Reader. It's not my kind of book. So if we were going on a date, because it's my little black book books, right? I'm dating these booktubers and bookstagrammers. If I were to go on a date and Amy said, hey, why don't we go and play a game of squash? This book is the equivalent to somebody suggesting to me to go and play a game of squash. I am the most uncoordinated person in the world. I do not do physical strenuous activity. Um, that would be a really like horrible day. I would say to that person, you know what? I don't do squash. So that's what I've got to do. And, and she would honor that because I know Amy and she's lovely. So I think I need to not judge her because if I went to the squash game, I would have hated every minute of it. I would have felt like a fool doing it because I didn't, wouldn't understand it. And then I wouldn't want to see her again. So this is taking this analogy really far. So reading this book is me doing it, not understanding it, it not being something cool that I want to do with her again. So then like, you know, our dating, our dating history is over. And I don't want to do that. I'd rather suggest to to Amy and say, you know what, squash isn't for me. Um, why don't we go and, you know, go to a bookshop that sells wine as well, a bar bookshop. And she would say, what a great idea. Let's do something we both like. See, do you see where I'm going with this? Okay. I'm not going to read that book. I have no interest in reading that book. It's just not going to happen. And I have plenty of other books from Amy that I can choose from. This is right. This makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Did everybody follow along with that at home? So let's go and see. I think I've got another book there that was from Amy. So let's go and see what that is. 
Okay, we're on to something. Okay, this is the book that I am saying no thank you. Not today. And from and from Amy I've got left to read Alice Kong. Oh, 100 days. This looks cool. Wow. That looks really cool. Okay. So this is the this is the compromise. <laughs> this is the bookshop bar. Amazing. So I might start this tonight. The other one was Pachinko, but it's quite a thick one. And I don't think I have that in me just yet. The cricket's on. This is what I'm going to read now to, yeah, go to bed. And with that, I'm going to sign off after all that rambling about dating. <laughs> dating Amy. <laughs> oh, gosh. Might be taking this a little far. Bit of fun. Okay. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. How are you? I was just, I've been doing my work since early this morning. I don't know what day it is. It's Tuesday. And I just realized that I'm sitting here in a white see-through t-shirt in my undies. And Patty's got a friend over <laughs> on a sleepover. So I'm just going to be a bit of a responsible parent and not flash Patty's friends. Patty and I had this hilarious conversation the other day where I just said I want you to know that you could never embarrass me like I would never feel ashamed by you there's nothing you could say that would make me be embarrassed by you in front of somebody else you're you and I accept every part of you you know so well, that's a beautiful thing to say and he said I want you to know <laughs> That there are many ways that you could embarrass me. <laughs> I think uh, just sitting here in a yeah white shirt and undies might have been one of them. So I've avoided that. I'm officially a not embarrassing mum so far. And this kid thinks I rock because I made that amazing crackle last night and he loved it. I have half an hour left of boring work to do. It's like seven in the morning. My word of the day today is slow. Yesterday, I just had such a surge of energy and I was so tired. I was exhausted. So, yeah, I'm just going to slowly move through things today. I did do a list in my diary of things I'd love to achieve and I'm just going to slowly move through them. There's a potential trip into town to do some stuff. I suppose I have to take that child back to this home. Yeah, that sort of stuff. Um, but other than that, this is going to be a nice slow day. Yeah, no, I need to go back here. I need to stop talking to you. <laughs> I need to finish this boring work so I can get on with the fun stuff. coming tomorrow 
who's working with me on my project um, on this business and she's the creator she's the maker she's yeah she's unbelievable so I want to have things ready for her to talk to her about so we can start moving forward with these products and get them online hopefully in next month that's the plan we've got a month so yeah, it's all very exciting okay I've got to put the camera down now because I'm in town so I'm gonna go get Patty and I'll see you when I'm doing something else how amazing is it that I've come to sit here to do my planning this morning and the full moon is setting in front of me oh deep breaths I've got my planner out today I need to feel present that's my goal in all of the moments I've got a lot happening and I've just got to protect my energy by maintaining presence in each of the moments as I move through today so that's that's the goal last night I felt called to share a product that I've made for sale so my business is around um, women connecting with their cycles and I've made physical products to support it planning products and I wrote a post on Instagram and I just felt called at the end to offer the product I have one of the products I have it sitting here in a box see it's onto the table there sitting there and we're just doing the final tweaks on the website um and yeah so I, I it's been sitting there for ages and I haven't been able to sell it but at the end of the post I was like you know what this post is perfect you know people reading this post need a solution they don't just need me telling them that you know don't plan with the months plan with your cycle because I believe that so I just said, if you connect with these words and feel called, then let me know and I'll get you a planner. And yeah, so many people responded that they wanted one. And it was this really positive, amazing experience. It's the first time that I've sold anything that I've created. And it was a nuts feeling. It was, it was. The roller coaster of emotions was huge. It was like, wow, I can't believe people want this. And then like, oh my gosh, what have I started? What have I begun? What is this huge thing that I'm about to embark on? And can I handle it? And then, of course I can handle it. You've got this. This is amazing. And, you know, the response from people I didn't know that were connecting with the writing that I was, you know, putting out there and... The idea is, this is a, you know, this is a system that I've used, that I adapted for myself years ago. And the idea to share this with other people, with other women, has been there for a long time. But I, this is, you know, I finally executed it. And it's an amazing feeling. And... It's when I say scary, there's no fear. It's just like, you know, the unknown is there. So I have no website. I have no, you know, none of the trimmings. And I just felt called to share it. And, and people responded so positively. And then I woke up this morning to um, an email from my designer saying, here's the preview of your website. <laughs> you know, like, we're done. Just double check. So things are falling into place. I feel myself getting dragged into that vortex of busy and I'm not going to allow that. Today I am meeting with my friend who's helping me create all of these things and her two babies are coming over. Patty has a play date here um, and he's getting dropped over at eight. And then I have to meet with um, a client to go through boring work stuff. So there's a lot of people around, which is wonderful. I am still in my winter season. I'm coming out of the retreat, but I just still need to 
support my body in all of this. And that's just kind of making sure that there's lots of water on hand. My body is really important at the moment. I can feel it starting to get a little sluggish. Anyway, lots of things going on. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to just gazing at that moon for a little bit, make a cup of tea and then do boring work. I'll catch you on the other side. talk to you about something else but let's talk about my hair journey <laughs> for years my hair does this in the middle that's just what it does that's how it works and for years I have been blow drying it to the side because I wanted a side part and um, you know like it doesn't curl but I think it doesn't curl but I mean what are we going on here um, they're my wings <laughs> Anyway, I got the bangs a while ago because I really wanted to, you know, try it. And um, I have never felt more me. When I got the bangs, I was blow drying it and, you know, making sure that they were whatever. And um, now I've just started washing my hair and letting it dry naturally. Like this is like, just brush it and she's right. And this is what happens. And I'm, I'm loving it, even my wings. I just feel, I just feel me. Anyway, there's my hair story. Um, I've been banking. Um, we have an extra child has arrived. Um, one more is to come and the beautiful cat is to come. We're gonna sit here and um, yeah, chat all things, you know, 2022, which is super exciting. Just kind of checking in really. I'm feeling really, there's so much excited energy running through my body, um, but I'm feeling really grounded in it and just kind of moving through the to-dos. There's zero overwhelm. So that feels amazing. Okay, I gotta wash up, get ready for Cat to come so we can drink tea. And I made that delicious chocolate banana bread so that'll be nice and warm out of the oven. Mm. I'm gonna have a great morning. Hi guys. Another day, another afternoon check-in, morning and afternoon check-in. I had the most amazing morning dreaming big and kind of putting plans into place to make things happen with our products and our business and that, yeah, I feel really content totally with all of that. And the afternoon was just filled with pottering and hanging out with the kids and I just dropped two friends kids home and now going back out for the night shift so we've had some beautiful storms roll through which i've taken no footage of i will get the hang of this vlogging thing oh and that chocolate banana cake was delicious though there was so much chocolatey goodness in there you couldn't even taste the banana so i think i'll adjust the recipe a little bit because i love the combo of real banana flavor with real chocolate that is good so i might try that again there's all the updates. Yikes, I gotta try it. So I got cake and a bottle of grog. 
so that's cool. <laughs> She's a really good friend. <laughs> Today I did my transition practice because I'm moving phases in my cycle from my winter retreat into my spring. Um, so that was cool because I woke up feeling kind of jittery about all the to-dos that are going on today and um, yeah so that released a lot of that stuff for me and it moved it from what I have to do it's to what I get to do yeah sit with some gratitude around how amazing it is that I get to do all of these things so yeah feeling really clear really connected with my village of really cool women, super cool women. Um, one friend gave me a face mask to use, so there's that. Yeah, I don't know, there's just a lot. It's just a lot of loveliness happening this morning. That's where my Thursday's at. I'll talk to you, hopefully not later on tonight. Hopefully you'll come along for the day, whatever that may be. Let's start with serving up some lasagna. Looks like the lasagna has been served up. A very capable 11 year old. Did you get some lasagna? No. Right, let's serve it up for the eight year old. <laughs> this is what I hate. I'm desperate to go to the toilet. I walk into the toilet and no toilet paper. Every single time. I know this is first world problems, but I feel like lots of people could connect with me on this one. God, how hard is it to go grab the toilet paper? Apparently I'm the only person in the whole of this house that can do it. I got a wee, I got a wee. I'll show you what I'm reading. And then I'm really gonna stop talking. I'm 15 pages in. It's very, very cool. It's from the voice of a mother talking to her unborn baby. And she's lives at home with her mother. So she's obviously a a younger woman um, and there's lots of yeah I don't know it's a, it's a very cool intriguing way to write the book I don't know if the whole book is this woman talking to her unborn mother and telling her about what's going on and what her grandmother's saying and all that sort of stuff but I am yeah very much interested in the book because of that intriguing way that it started so this is on Amy, a poly reader on Instagram. This is on her best of list. So yeah, it's only a little one too. I could spend some time with this today. Can you hear the rain? It's raining and gorgeous and cozy and all of the things. Let's hope that the rain, no, Fitz really wants to go to this birthday party and I really want to take him, but maybe the rain will just postpone it and they could have the whole afternoon Maybe I'll get to do it. Who knows? I'll keep you posted. But I'm going to do it now for half an hour. You have to teleport to it first. Oh, it's this level. And just like that, it's Thursday night. We get takeaway. The kids are on screens. I had a big afternoon at a child's birthday party, so I'm zonked. I have no energy. Lots of talking today, isn't there? So what I'm going to do is end the vlog because I need to not talk to anyone for the rest of the night, except to say, have a shower, go to bed. I'm going to have a shower myself and climb into bed. It's cozy and rainy. You can't really tell what it is. And I'm going to, yeah, just chill out. Slowly starting to feel a bit of rhythm and now we're gonna end the vlog, but yeah, it's been a big change from checking in with books and doing all of that sort of stuff. Just you guys coming along with my day is, is interesting. I don't know, we'll just keep feeling it out. But for right now, it's, um, it's flowing for me in my life so that whole mindset switch of this being in line with my cycles rather than you know the Monday to Friday readathons or the monthly readathons or whatever it is feels really good and kind of feels like it's on my terms even though nobody was you know 
enforcing that, but I live my life like this. And um, yeah, now I can be on here like this and, and be with you guys in this way as well. It may seem like something really little, but for me, it's, yeah, it's a big thing. So that's the end of my winter phase. So that's the end of the vlog. Tomorrow I start the spring phase in my cycle, which is my creative phase. So who knows what I'm going to do. But I plan to continue vlogging. And um, yeah, so I'll see you in that video. I've finished talking for the day. I have no more words. Bye. Thanks for hanging out with me.